Today, we will talk about gross merchandise value, GMV definition, formula, pros and cons, and example. Gross merchandise's value is the total value of merchandise sold over a given period through a customer-to-customer, C2C, exchange site. It is a measure of the growth of the business or use of the site to sell merchandise owned by others. GMV is often used to determine the health of an e-commerce site's business. The gross merchandise value is a measurement of the total amount of merchandise sold over a specific period of time. It is calculated before any fees or expenses are deducted and is useful for measuring growth over time, such as month over month or year over year basis. To calculate GMV, simply multiply the number of goods sold by the sales price of the goods using the formula GMV equals sales price of goods x number of goods sold. GMV provides insight into the performance of a company, especially in the customer-to-customer -customer market, where the retailer serves as a third-party mechanism for connecting buyers and sellers. It also offers value to retailers in the consignment sector, as they never officially purchase their inventory. GMV does not truly reflect the profitability of a company, as it mainly represents the total value of goods sold. Additionally, for companies that produce and sell their own goods, GMV would only be one metric, providing a limited view of the company's financial health. C2C retailers provide a framework for sellers to list items they have in inventory and for buyers to find items of interest, with the retailer functioning as an intermediary. This model may differ drastically from other retail models where retailers purchase merchandise from producers and then function as an authorized reseller. GMV refers to the total value of everything sold through a marketplace in a given period of time, while gross transaction value is a calculation of the revenue in relation to commissions. GTV is used more in businesses that operate on commissions. For example, eBay and Etsy are customer-to-customer -customer sites. During the first quarter, eBay sold 100 goods priced at $5 each, resulting in a GMV of $500. In the same quarter, Etsy sold 80 goods priced at $4 each, resulting in a GMV of $320. However, this does not tell the whole story, as a portion of the revenue goes back to the sellers of the goods. GMV refers to the total value of merchandise sold over a given period of time through a customer-to-customer -customer exchange site. Depending on the type of e-commerce site, GMV is the same as gross revenue. However, for sites like eBay, it is a reflection of the total value of goods sold, but not the actual revenue the company makes, as a portion of those revenues is for the sellers of the goods. In a startup, GMV is the gross merchandise revenue, the total revenue that a company generates through the sale of its goods or services. GMV is calculated by multiplying the total amount of goods sold by their sales price in a given period. The formula is GMV equals sales price of goods x number of goods sold. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Gross merchandise value, GMV, refers to the value of goods sold via customer-to-customer -customer or e-commerce platforms. 2. Gross merchandise value is calculated prior to the deduction of any fees or expenses. 3. It is a measure of the growth of the business or use of the site to resell products owned by others through consignment. 4. Analyzing GMV from one period to another allows management and analysts to determine the financial health of a company. 5. GMV is not a true representation of a company's revenues, as a portion of the revenues goes to the original seller. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.